The First Lady of the United States. She's the partner of the President, hostess of the White House, and backup Snuffleupagus. But while hashtag all wives matter, there's one First Lady who matters more than any other. Melania Trump. Wife, birther, fashion icon, animal lover, colonial explorer. On January 20th, 2017, this third wife became America's first lady. It was a moment she celebrated with great joy and instant regret. And while public life can put a strain on a relationship, it only made Melania and Donald stronger. Since day one, they've been inseparable. If you don't count the six months she stayed in New York while she reportedly renegotiated her prenup. But after that, it was a love story for the ages. Those ages being a hot 50 and, I don't know, 97? During their time in the White House, Melania and Donald were often seen taking long, romantic walks, holding hands, trying to hold hands, and refusing to hold hands. Yes, you could always see the look of fiery passion whenever Melania was at her husband's side. And it's easy to see why. The First Lady's husband lived to spoil her. It's Melania's birthday, so happy birthday to Melania. Do you want to tell us what you got her? Well, I better not get into that because I may get in trouble. Maybe I didn't get her so much. There's nothing more romantic than a man of mystery. But a First Lady's job is more than just being a devoted wife. She's also in charge of turning the White House into a white home. And Melania let nothing stand in her way. Melania Trump is defending a tweet she sent out about construction on the White House tennis pavilion, which some have criticized as tone deaf amid the coronavirus outbreak. Yes, even in the midst of a global pandemic and with less than six and a half weeks left in office, Melania had the courage to do something literally no one was asking her to do. Personally renovate the White House tennis court in four-inch heels with a golden shovel. And while this renovation was so masterful it made the Property Brothers look like the Trump Brothers, amazingly it came just months after her previous masterpiece, the new White House Rose Garden. The intensely private First Lady is facing the glare of the spotlight yet again, criticized for her recent renovation of Jackie Kennedy's famous Rose Garden. The Rose Garden that she put some pretty dramatic changes to. Good for Melania. Who needs roses when a virus is destroying everyone's sense of smell anyway? Besides, if there's one thing a supermodel knows, it's the importance of removing unpleasant shrubbery. And at no point was Melania's flair for design more apparent than during the holiday season, when every Christmas she chose a fun holiday theme, like Ho Ho Horror Movie and The Grinch Who Murdered Christmas. All while never losing the spirit of the season. Who gives a f about Christmas stuff? Yes, thanks to Melania, America's saying, Who gives a f about Christmas again? But perhaps Melania's greatest legacy as First Lady was her celebration of all God's children, whose parents could prove they were citizens. This is a picture of Melania Trump boarding Air Force One to head down to McAllen, Texas to visit some of the children being held in detention center. She's wearing a green jacket. On the back, it's written in white, I really don't care, do you? Wow, only Melania could pull off a sleeveless dress and a heartless jacket. But other than that, Melania overflows with love for children. You see, she's not just the stepmom of these four little boss babies. She's the nation's stepmom, there for America every other weekend and on holidays. So when she saw the bullying epidemic that was tormenting the country, she stepped forward with a grammatically courageous initiative. Today, I'm very excited to announce Be Best, an awareness campaign dedicated to the most valuable and fragile among us, our children. Melania told children across America to be best, and be best they beat. Just look how much this bully learned. Bernie Sanders, crazy Bernie. Greatest loser on earth. Crazy Bernie, one of the greatest losers of all time, this guy. No, but I meant that in a nice way. So thank you, Melania. You made America smile. And we hope we made you smile. No? There it is. Wait, false alarm. There we go. Okay, whatever.